fucking wanker. It's easy to poke fun at people, and it's hard to empathize with people, says Marvin, who plays Wart co-founder Miguel McKelvey in Wecrashed. I think we're hardwired for the salacious version of these stories. Man. Okay? I'm going to bring one back for you. We're hardwired to call this true crime and hunt for, when was he an asshole? When did he punch someone in the face? We're always hunting for something nasty. Does Adam get the buyout package from Masa? Me? You're the co-founder of the However, the story doesn't end there, because Work's new CEO, Cameron Lautner, soon realizes that the company will go bankrupt in under two months without a massive influx of cash from Masa. A face-off between the Masa and Adam ensues, with the former attempting to buy the latter's controlling share of the company before injecting more money into it. Finally, a buyout package of over a billion dollars is agreed upon. With their golden parachute on the way, Adam and Rebecca head to Israel, where he surprises her by revealing that he's bought the curriculum for their education project, Wegro. Adam then gets a call from Masa, who says that he's going to do everything in his power to stop them from getting the buyout package. Wekrash ends with Rebecca and Adam flustered and screaming, fearing they aren't going to get their big payout. A few captions before the end credits then reveal that the real-life Adam Newman subsequently sued SoftBank. So the show, in keeping with its title, ends with a veritable crash for Wework's co-founder, Adam Newman, and his wife, Rebecca. While on vacation on a beach in Israel, they get the devastating call that Masa, the head of SoftBank, is going to do everything in his power to stop them from getting their golden parachute. After a fierce standoff and a lot of back and forths, Adam and Masa finally agree on an astronomical figure of almost $1.7 billion for the former to give up his controlling share of the company. However, just as Adam and Rebecca think that they've gotten away with their big payday, they are struck a severe blow. From Masa's tone, it is pretty clear he isn't going to give up easily. He also has considerable resources and very deep pockets, meaning that even if Adam does sue him, which he did in real life, Masa can afford a long, drawn-out legal battle much more easily than the former Work CEO. 500 million for you to sell your shares. Since Adam does own substantial shares of Work, he most likely gets paid for giving them up. However, it seems like he doesn't get the entire 1.7 billion dollars. You have that. It's just, it's just, only get me for Masa. After Adam resigns, Cameron Lautner from Benchmark Capital is made Work's new CEO. However, two days into the announcement, Cameron finds himself in hot water as the company threatens to go bankrupt. The only way to salvage Wework is by getting additional funding from Moss's SoftBank. At the point where the show ends, it appears that Cameron is still the CEO of Wework. However, it is also clear that he is not really cut out for running the shared workspace company as he is constantly frustrated by the financials. It is likely Cameron leaves the post as soon as a more suitable replacement is found. Meanwhile, despite the ousting of his co-founding partner, it appears that Miguel McKelvey remains at work and quietly continues his day-to-day -day work. That fucking wanker. Interestingly, it seems he is never even considered to be Adam's replacement as CEO. The only thing holding Massa back from investing in work is Adam's controlling stake in the company. The show ends with a news story stating that SoftBank finally becomes an 80% owner of Work, meaning that Masa and his fund do invest another sizable chunk of capital into the shared workspace business. Apart from safeguarding his earlier investment, Masa is also compelled to put more money into Work in order to save face. Since Work is the biggest investment in the first round of SoftBank's $100 billion vision fund, it is imperative for the company to be a success. As Cameron explains to the board, Masa is looking for funds for a second vision fund, for which he needs to show that the companies his previous fund invested in are successful.